so fucking afraid of death. And I've gotten more comfortable with it as I've gotten older. Mm -hmm. But that's my biggest anxiety is, is, is my fear of death. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not afraid of dying. Why not? I want to know this. Because I've accomplished all my goals and it's just in, it's inevitable. I just feel like I haven't done enough. You, that's how you, I genuinely you, feel. You've done enough. You've done enough. You're, you're well known. You have everything going for you. You're not made enough money. You're fucking good. It's, I, I always try. I don't set the bar. I don't care about like, you know, a lot of people chase a hundred million, 200 million, 300 million for whatever it's. I, I think it's just about for me, at least I can only speak for myself is just, I'm just so about the game. Yeah. I don't even care. But that's what I'd miss. Like for me, it's not so much the money. It's more like, I know that I've had like the way in which I was able to make money. I've been grateful enough over the years that it's been through a means of like, yeah, I did like the crazy shit on the internet here and there. But like when the people who are really supporting me and I'm seeing and I'm talking to those people in person at like expos or events or they come to my gym, they're always telling me something really meaningful. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I watched this video and you changed my life or I saw the podcast and I appreciate what you're talking about. And mm -hmm. these things are making me think about this, uh, this possibility for my own life. And for years, you know, I before I ever did the podcast, I did content on YouTube where I talked about my father and the passing of my father when I was young and how I dealt with it and how it pushed me to be the person I am, the man mm -hmm. that I am today. And having those reactions with people who they're telling me, yo, when I, I saw this, I didn't kill myself. It's the right? best. And that's the thing that I want. I love that. I want to give as much as possible. That's I what I feel that. like. I, I, I talked to kid off suicide. I talked to kid off suicide fucking uh, a month ago. I got a DM from this motherfucker. Not motherfucker. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, it's all I good. Got, I got a DM from this fucking kid. And I just, you know, you get a lot of DMs. Yeah. You know, it depends what the content you're posting. But like, you know, you get a lot of DMs. And I just scrolled through. And this guy was just like, this kid was like, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. And I was like, God, I can't leave this on fucking red. I just can't leave it. So yeah. I responded. I said, is this a real inquiry? And he was just basically like, uh, you know, I think he said something like, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what's your cell phone number? Because I was like, fuck it. And so I, I picked up the cell phone and I called him out of the blue and FaceTimed him. And he was like broken down, crying, fucking yeah. whatever. And the reason, you know, back to your point of just like the power, believe it or not, of like what we have is amazing because you never know what you can change somebody's life. And I've been communicating with this kid, you know, for for a while now. Sometimes it gets a little, you know. He's hitting me up a lot now, but at the end of the day, it was a real, it was a real, it was a real thing. And you know, yeah, that, that's why I always love to engage with everybody. Like I am a DM assassin. Yeah. I will go and I will talk to every single, if you're dumb and you're fucking stupid and you're offering dumbass like criticism, that's like yeah. dumb that offers no value. That's not really there. If somebody gives me constructive criticism, I'm open to it. I'll sit yeah. down and go, like, well, why do you think For that? Sure. How can I get better? How can I do that? But if a bunch of people are just blasting dumb, saying dumb shit, you ignore it. But yes, that's what I'm saying, man. It's just, it, it's the, I feel like the responsibility I have is so, it's, it's greater than me at this point. Like I have a, a, I have so many stories like that. I have one specifically with this guy who was going to help me building the gym out in Austin. But this guy, uh, he, well, he was on Twitter, mm -hmm. on Twitter. And the guy's like, uh, something I'm talking about killing himself. And another fan of mine messages me and says, yo, you should try to talk to this guy. Mm -hmm. And I try Which to reply to him. And I did. You should. And this guy was like t telling to me like, you don't know about, you know, where I am and you have all this stuff. And like, he sees where I'm at. Right. But not where I've been. Mm -hmm. And I said, Hey, I, you know, it's not always that simple. And I have this conversation now, keep in mind, this is me replying to a Twitter message and I'm taking off to Brazil. Mm -hmm. So my last message with this guy was like, give it more time. Trust me. Like you, it's going to be okay. You'll see the light. Mm -hmm. Right. This guy now I've known for years mm -hmm. since I went to Brazil. Mm -hmm. He sends me pictures of himself with it's his great. daughter because this guy was going to kill himself. So he's going to take pills in a bathroom. It, and he's like, yo, you my be, daughter has a father because yeah. of you. Now, it's, it's hard, too, because then you have to filter out, you know, at the end of the day, you have to filter out what's real and not. Right. Hopefully you catch up stuff. And what I did was I, I caught this kid and I was right. And then I looked at the right time. My biggest fucking pet peeve in the world is this. Do you know what I fucking hate more than anything? What? Is fucking bullies. Yeah. I fucking hate people that get bullied in school kids that fucking bully people are the biggest fucking not i was never bullied in my life at all but people that fucking bully people i think are the biggest fucking pussies on planet earth hands down and and i, I there was some person online who son i felt so bad i clicked on the article this fucking 14 year old kid killed himself hung himself inside of his room because he was bullied in school and, and you got to think to yourself because you have a younger audience or whatever and this is a yeah. message you shouldn't still with people's like if you bully somebody you are the biggest pussy on fucking planet earth hands out especially at that age 
Especially at that age. At any fucking age. I mean, like if I bully you, it's different. It bully, we're we're business together. We do you're shit my boy. Together, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't. And I, and you know, you see, it's never. It, the problem is, you only can hope to like f- put out a message and hope that somebody listens. Because if I put it out there, or you put it out there, and we talk about it. It, hopefully one, two, three people will fucking listen to it and right. change their ways. But anybody that does any sort of thing, if you see somebody getting fucking bullied in school, you're an absolute fucking pussy if you don't stick up for that fucking kid. Yeah. And that's just, that's one thing, one point that I always like to make because I'm so anti that shit because it's, it, it pisses me the fuck off. Sorry, I had to say that. No, it's fine, dude. It's that's, am- yeah. I just, ha- I had to say that. So have you had any other, any other uh, interactions with people where you like, you feel like you've, you've gotten like real fulfillment in it, like purpose? Cause that's the reason why, like, I have this again. If we're talking about my fear, my fear of death, mm-hmm. well, as an overall topic. I was, I was, I was just, I don't know. Like, like you said, I feel like I have this responsibility. We have this responsibility to t- to talk about these kind of things. Right. And I feel like now it's so much greater than when it was then. Mm-hmm. That it's like, that's where my fear is derived from. Is like I don't want to not be able to have these sort of conversations that actually help change. Cause mm-hmm. it's not as relevant as it is. Like, not everyone is using their massive platforms. Like rappers and all these people they're not being like yo let's talk about some shit that really matters mm-hmm. right because it's not their brand or it's mm-hmm. not their whatever by helping people though it could be as simple as this because you don't want to get you don't get overwhelmed with it too much because everybody is going to dm bradley martin everybody's going to dm kyle and everybody's gonna be like i need this i want this i feel like this way i'm depressed i need that stuff the best thing you can do if you can't address every situation yeah. is just take the time to which you guys do and you do a great job at it is like when somebody comes up to you and says hello fucking says what up Spend a minute with them. Talk to them. See, you know, it makes people's day. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just fucking that's that's what I try and do is I'll I'll anytime I run into somebody, I ask about how they're doing, ask about their fucking life. You know, we're in a privileged spot right now. We have a lot of we're cool. Like everybody would fucking love to be in the situation we're in right now. Yeah. We're known by a lot of people. We make great money and whatnot. So I always look at it as every situation I go to them hosting. So if I get if I fans, whatever the fuck you want to call it, come up to me and talk to me, I'm hosting the situation. I always want to act like I'm hosting. And I think that's one been one of my better qualities in life and why I've been able to, you know, have the connections that I have with so many people is I, I never look at it like I'm walking to the club, like Bob gets taken care of. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm taking care of it. I want to be the host. Do you, do you, 